Before we go through our six beliefs and the five deeds, there are some relevant issues that I need to talk with you about. I am not expecting you to agree on them all, but it's a matter of perspective. First, Muslims believe that every human being is born pre-formatted to submit to God, which means that every one of us was born clean and good and pure by nature. We don't believe that uh, uh, because I am born Arab, then I'm stupid. Or because I'm a Hispanic, then I'm lazy. Or because I'm white, then I'm cruel. Or because I am black, then I'm something else. This, we don't believe in this. We believe that no one can come on the day of judgment in front, in, in, and stand uh, uh, in front of God and tell him, I was born bad. No, we were born clean, pure by nature. Muslims believe that every human being have free will. Human beings have free will. God Almighty showed us the right path and the wrong path, and then he left us to choose freely. No compulsion in religion. Actually, this is a verse in the Quran. In chapter number two, it says, let there be no compulsion in religion, which means that no one can enforce anyone to accept Islam. As a religion, Islam is an action of the heart. Uh, no one can put the gun in the head of someone and tell him, sign this paper. I am a Muslim, write your full name. If he did so, he's not a Muslim yet. It's an action of the heart. And Muslims believe that people are born without any inherited sin. Although we are from Adam and Adam is from earth, but we believe that if someone committed a sin or made a mistake, he will come on the day of judgment carrying his own sin on his own shoulders, not on the shoulders of his sons or his grandsons or his grand, 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 grandsons. We believe that there is no supremacy. All people are equal. One of the traditions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, all people in the sight of God are as equal as the teeth of a comb. He said also there is no privilege for an Arab on an un-Arab, or for a white on a black, except according to their piety, righteousness. So it's piety and righteousness, not racism. Which means that we do not believe that God Almighty chose any people because of their race and made them their chosen people. So he did not choose the Arabs, nor the Jews, nor the Hispanics.